So I just want to make a comment regarding grain descent. Grain descent is, in, is a very general algorithm, and we will see it many, many places throughout these lectures of that. And uh, in fact, this is a fundamental kind of engines for the, for the modern deep learning is still based on grain descent. As you can see, it's a very powerful methodology. So the method here, unfortunately, can only guarantee to find a locally optimal solution. So what I, what I mean is this. If you look at this, this landscape of, suppose this is a loss function in one dimensional space, okay? And it's a simple case here. The y-axis is the loss, and x-axis is the parameters here. And now you can see here, depending on where do you initialize your parameters here, you might end up with different solutions to that. Suppose your initial parameter is initialized at this point here. If you run grain descent, we'll go toward these solutions. And then we'll stuck this solution, we're not moving anymore. Because at this point here, the gradient is zero, it's flat here. Because gradient is zero, you're not updating your parameters anymore. And then you converge to this point, right? And on the other hand, if you initialize your point at this point here, you can see the gradient now point toward these directions, and it will, will produce a different solution. And those solutions here are called low quality optimal solutions. And because in this loss function, you have multiple low quality optimal solutions. So which means that depends on where do you initialize your initial theta, the final solutions might be different. And in fact, will be different depending on where they initialize it. It might have end up here or here and here. So of course, among the four solutions here, you know that there's only one solution that is the best one. And this is the best one here. And this is something called a globally optimal solution. This is called a global minimum. And these are called a local minima because not represented only the local speaking, which means that if I look at focus on this small regions of that, that's indeed the best solution. But if you jump outside the small region, you, you can still find a solution better than this one here. And this is a globally optimal, op globally minimum, this is locally minima here. So the a, a big disadvantage of the grain descent methodology is that it can only guarantee you to find local optimal solution, not, not local, op global optimal. So that's the, this big constraints in terms of the grain descent methodology. And this constraint used to be worry people a lot. People are very concerned about this limitation. And it's, this is part of the reasons why the neural nets methodology was not used many years ago before this modern era of deep learning. A neural network has been proposed a long time ago. But people discredit the neural nets. And this main reason is that because when in the old days, when different people run the neural nets algorithm and they will give you different solutions. And the reason is because this low quality optimal issue to that. And people will say, well, if I run the algorithm, run the model with a different time, different by different people that give me different solutions, why should I trust the solutions? Which one should I use? How do I guarantee that the solution I, I identify here is the best one, is a better one? So of course, no one can answer that question. So the uh, so that's the reason the methodology had these flaws and many people kind of lost interest in this, lost interest in this methodology. So of course, nowadays, people have some new thinking regarding these issues and, uh, and thought that after all, this may not be such a big issue. So we'll come back to this point later on to mention this when we talk about in the neural nets. All right, so, uh, so there are a few other issues here that, and the ones already mentioned here is this, what's the step size? How do I choose it? Of course, you cannot choose step size to be either too large or too small, right? If it's too large, what happens is that if it's too large, the algorithm might actually not converging. So, so, uh, so, uh, so in this, so this represented step size here might be too large here, and you can see the solution might be oscillate going from one side to the other side here. So in this case here, the algorithm still actually converges even though oscillate here. But there are many other cases here when you choose step size too large, the solution actually diverges, run away. And uh, on the other hand, if you choose alpha to be too small, so what happens? So which means you are too conservative. You are, you are doing, you are only updating those state that you want very small changes at a time. So which means that you will need to run this iteration many, many times in order to identify the optimal solutions. So that means that 
your running time will be long if you choose step size to be too small. So which one should I choose? It's always the best one will be something not too large, not too small, something in the middle. So they are, so they are a method here based on line search. That's one I just mentioned that. And you can identify the step size in optimal fashions, or you can choose them in a fixed matters. You can fix the step size. That's very common. Or you can choose a step size in a predetermined fashions by reducing step size based on the number of iterations. So you can initialize your step size to be initially to be relatively large but gradually you're reducing the values of the step size. And then you can do that. So this, this is one common step to do is to divide by initial value by the number of iterations. So that will be linear rate of decreasing the values of the step size. That's a common choice in many iterations. So that's one way of doing it. So, 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 th so that's one way. And, uh, and uh, so, so of course, in, in practice, the first two are most commonly used to, methodology for choosing step size. Of course, there are other issues for choosing directions. That's Newton's method, choosing descent directions. 